It is the 41st millennium, and mankind rules the stars. This sprawling empire is powered by hive worlds. Gargantuan planets of industry. Necromunda is the greatest hive world in all of the Imperium. With cities that rise from the ash wastes. Like sheer mountain peaks. Spire upon spire. Tower upon tower. The hives climb so far above the poisoned clouds, they cleave the heavens. And what nightmares may come in these hive cities, where humanity has been allowed to grow unchecked in its teeming billions. Builders run the Underhive. Without the Merchant's Guild, there's no order to life down here. No one to stop things unraveling completely. You're thinking there's no order down here anyway. But you just don't see it. Order is what every ganger down here is looking for. Just an order they can change. One where they can get to be top dog. The big boss man. Not just a pro laboring away, toiling for house high in the throne. Order down here is different. Nobody wants the enforcers, or worse, coming down here, trying to make things the way they are up in Hive City. So we all follow the Gilder's rules. Without them, it all breaks down. No one kills a Gilder unless they're truly dangerous or truly desperate. And the truly desperate are the most dangerous of all. That's why I think we can help each other out. We're going to earn ourselves that bounty for taking down whoever killed Maro Virax. And we're going to put things back the way they should be. You see, we're agents of order, the likes of us. Even if we do get to so a little strife along the way. You're in? Trust me. It'll be worth it.
fit. Yeah. You sure? Positive. The Black Serpents are holed up in there. Are you sure about this? Sure they're in there or sure about getting it done? Black. Just a few eshes. Ready for anything. We are. They can't defend all the approaches. We're coming from both sides and from the dome. <coughs> This level, I'm heading down. You and the Hound? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is it, let's go. I can see the sentries. Wait until I'm on the ground, then take out as many as you can. Let them know they're surrounded. Begin. So this is Escher territory. Open this rust damn door! I'm in. Let's do it. See you at the prize. Plenty. Keep going.
level. There's someone else down here, and it ain't no Escher. That's not me. Stay alert. Easy. 
Beetle! Beetle! Where are you? Plato, what the hell is going on? I heard. I'm on my way. Should have done this alone. Knew it. Always work alone. Let the brute have a little fun.
inside scum. Where did you ever think this was going to get you? Who's there? Oh, you know me. Damn. Jericho. Where am I? Martyr's End. Martyr's End? Martyr's End. Beyond Thorian's Dome, beyond the bad zones of Delta Seven. Far from where you want to be, I'll wager. But a better place than you'd be in otherwise, I can assure you. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. I saved your life. Feels like you did a great job. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. Enough of the riddles, Spire Boy. What happened? <laughs> There's time for all that later. You're gonna hurt yourself straining like that? Remember, you only just made it this far. I'm gonna leave you with my friend here. There's a watering hole right outside, the Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part, finding out. Who are you? What is this place? I'm Malakachi. You may call me Malak. I'm a chirurgeon, and this is my surgery. You're lucky to be here. Damn. A rogue doc. If you prefer. Yes. What did you do to me? Nothing I didn't have to. Well, maybe a little more than I had to. That's a most impressive set of bionics. They would have been a pleasure to work with. But for all the bleeding flesh getting in the way. Thanks. I'm sure there used to be more of it. Your friend is right. Cal Jericho? He's not my friend. Well, he was right. You should have died. 
It's only those bionics of yours that saved you. But still, there was a lot of damage. It will take you a little while to heal. And a little while to get used to the changes. What? A few adjustments. An internal reservoir. A cerebral implant. You'll find they're all improvements once you get used to them. A cerebral implant? Where the hell did that come from? From your friend, Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Oh, I'd say he is now. These bionics, once you have healed, they will allow you to do incredible things. But there might be a few adjustments I need to make. Nothing works first time. Not when you're working with materials like these, anyway. You should come back and see me when you're ready to find out what you're really capable of. got that for half the price before they hijacked the container. Those are fine weapons, but their former owners didn't have enough faith in them. Faith will unlock their potential. Show me what you got. Yeah, and they took it back from us. Too bad. I found a nice little hideout, and now we've got a new leader. We're going to take it right back. Plenty of scavengers coming through here. Wild snake. I like you. You must be able to read the sign. No. What does it say? It says patrons only. But you don't need to worry about that. You figured it right out. You must be a psychic. I won't go telling anyone you're a mini. Here you go. Wild snake. How much? Your friends already got it covered. Elmo's teeth, what is this? He's not my friend. Definitely psychic. That might be the quickest I've seen anybody work that out. But either way, your drink is covered. You should go and see him. He's right over there. And hey, if you ever want to know what's really going on around here, 
Come back and see me. Thanks. What's your name? Just call me the Wild Snake Priestess. I could ask Yolanda. So, ready to talk? About how you nearly got me killed. About how I saved your life. And Batel and Leto? Well, no. I knew they weren't up to it. Always work alone. I should have stuck to that. Now, tell me, what happened up there? That Escher gang you wanted us to take down, there was someone else with them. Yes, I think so. Who? The one who killed Virax? Maybe. I mean, I think so. The Black Serpents are working with an outlaw, a very dangerous outlaw, who seems to be calling himself the Silver Tower. You knew he was there? No, I didn't. But the Black Serpents are his muscle. I figured they might give us a few leads. I didn't think whoever killed Virax would be crazy enough to still be hanging around here. So you thought you'd dangle some bait? No, nothing like that. Besides, you were quick enough to take me up on the deal. Maro and his brother specialize in archaeotech. Good stuff, too. And they control pretty much all the trade around here. His caravan was ambushed less than an hour from here, so I figured whoever was responsible would be long gone and far away by now. It seems not. Meanwhile, there's a few gangs around here who have been trying to make a name for themselves, taking more risks than usual. The Black Serpents, those Escher you met earlier, and a couple of Orlock gangs, the Iron Vipers, the Scrapjacks. So you think they're working for the Silver Talon too? I think they're being awfully bold, almost like someone wants them to make trouble. And since the Silver Talon is still around... And you think it was the Silver Talon who killed Virax? Or ordered it, yes. Damn! I had a feeling there was something going on from another lead I was following. As soon as I found out, I came to warn you. But that's how I found you. Not exactly just in time. You don't think? Hmm. That cerebral implant. Where did that come from? I took it from the Black Serpents. Maybe they were just trying to sell it, or maybe it's something that you know who is looking for. Which is why it made so much sense to put it in you. So I guess we'll find out, one way or the other. Saving my life just so you can get me killed? Not my kind of deal. A shame, since it's the only one going. Then I'm out. But thanks for tipping me off about the Silver Talon. If I were a less generous man, I might suggest you're in my debt, you know. But I won't. Now listen, there's a fortune to be made for both of us. You won't get it on your own. Wanna bet? Oh, I'd wager. But if you lose, you'll have nothing left to give me anyway. So just don't forget, the offer's there. And you know where to find me.